Today, I'm going to show you how to make the fluffiest, crispiest egg foo young. This is going to be good. I'm going to be using six large eggs for this recipe. And what I'm going to do first is actually separate the yolks and the whites. Or the, yeah, the yolk from the whites. And just carefully do that. And I'm placing the yolk in a separate bowl. Okay, so now I'm going to whisk and whip my egg whites until stiff peaks. You can do this with a, an electric hand mixer as well. This is gonna take a lot of muscle. Maybe use the electric mixer. <laughs> So you'll want these to stiff peak. See how the peak kind of stands up? That's how you'll want the egg whites. Okay. I'm going to mix my egg yolks. And I'll give them a little mix here. Break them apart. Get them kind of fluffy and creamed together. Just like that. And what I'm going to do is um, take a little bit of the egg whites, and this is just to sort of get them kind of fluffy before I fold them in. There we go. And now I'm going to pour them in and fold them with the egg whites. And this is going to give us that fluffy egg to make our egg foo young very fluffy. Is it necessary to do this? No, but I had time today and I really wanna see if I can get these really fluffy and crispy. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my other ingredients. Okay, so I'm working with a pound of large cooked shrimp and all I did was seasoned it with salt, pepper. I added it to a preheated pan with oil and I sauteed it until it was cooked. Here I have like four, uh, I used the whites of four scallions and one pound of bean sprouts. I've just rinsed them and let them kind of dry a little bit and uh, just drained out any liquid. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my sprouts. Of course, it's gonna deflate a little as you start adding ingredients, but it should do the trick. The shrimp. And my scallion whites. I'm doing a simple mixture today. And now I'm just gonna fold everything together. and this will be ready to fry up. You can season with a little bit of salt and pepper. The shrimp is seasoned, so I think I'll be okay with that. There we go. I'm gonna scrape this off. And there we have it, fluffy batter or fluffy egg mixture for my egg foo young. Okay, so I have some preheated oil in my wok and I'm gonna take some of this mixture. Let's see if I can do this right. There we go. I 
kind of want this rounded. Okay. You want to make sure that it's kind of cooked a little bit, even on this top part right here before you give it a flip. I'm going to do the best I can. Yeah. I want to keep it together. There we go. It's going to cook for a couple of minutes on each side. You might need to adjust the heat if the oil, fry oil is just raging out of control, but that's that. Once this is fried and golden brown on each side, it'll be done. Okay, so this is done. Now we're going over to my baking sheet, and there we have it. Fluffy, crispy egg foo young. I'm going to repeat the process. For the sauce, I've combined a cup and a half of water with a teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder. You could just use chicken broth in place of that. Um, I'm going to add some Shaoxing cooking wine. I'll say, I'll say that's optional. Let's go with like, I'm going to go with like a tablespoon of that. I'm going to go with a tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Let's give that a mix. And I'm going to add sugar to taste. I'll start, mm, let's see, I'll do like a teaspoon and a half of sugar. Give it a mix and this is what I'm using for the egg foo young gravy. I'll also use a cornstarch slurry to thicken it and this is just a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch and a tablespoon and a half of cold water. You want to make sure you mix it with cold water or it'll get clumpy. So I'm going to add this to my pan. Now you don't have to use dark soy sauce. Obviously it makes the sauce or the gravy dark, but I like it. So I'm just going to let this come to a simmer and you'll want to give it a taste. There are so many ways to make the gravy for the egg foo young. This is just what I kind of came up with today. I know you could add rice vinegar to this, oyster sauce to this. It's really what you've got available. I just thought this was a very simplified version today. Now for the cornstarch slurry. I'm going to give it a mix just to mix it up again. Now I'm just going to pour it into my gravy and it'll start to thicken right away. Combine, mix, simmer just for a little bit until thicken and that's your gravy or your sauce. Okay, so here I have my crispy, fluffy, this is the fluffiest, crispiest, best egg foo young I have ever made. It is so perfect. I love this. And I'm going to garnish with some roasted peanuts, chopped peanuts, and the green tops of the scallions that I used. That's optional. I just like a local restaurant that serves it like that, so that's how I'm going to garnish it. And here is that rich wonderful sauce gravy that I made. Again, this is just the sauce that I like to make with this. Um, so many different ways to make the gravy for egg foo young. Pick the one you like. And here we are.
hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching!